What I'm going to show you in this Twitter versus ChatGPT video is going to rock your world. This whole entire AI thing is resetting the whole entire playing field and this is an opportunity that's going to not require any experience whatsoever, mainly because AI is so new. If we really think about it, the whole AI thing exploded out of the gate and really became mainstream in December 2022. That is less than six months ago. And if you watch through this entire video in less less than 10 to 15 minutes. I really think that you're gonna have a good shot at making a salary of $179,433 without any experience whatsoever. So when ChatGPT first came out, I really went ahead and tested it by asking it some stupid questions like, what is the average size of a guy's and I know, I'm a 30 year old, but I still think like I'm 13. And if a girl ever tells you that size does not matter, then you really have to reconsider that relationship if trust is a very big value to you. Now, jokes aside, we're really here to talk about this Twitter versus ChatGPT opportunity. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three hacks that you need to know in order to really succeed with this opportunity. So about two months ago, I really started going ham on my Twitter account, Otaku Weep Closet, which is gonna be the main source of traffic for my online store, which is also called Otaku Weep Closet. It is a drop shipping store for anime merch. Think plushies, keychains, toys, and things like that. Now, girls love things like that, and my friend broke up with her ex who was also my friend, which turned out to be a big mess and a huge drama soapbox, mainly because she loved spending an exorbitant amount of money on these anime keychains, pillows, plushies, and things like that, and he, on the other hand, just thought it was a big, gigantic waste of money. Whereas he thought it was a waste of money, I thought it was a great opportunity for me to take her money, which I did on several occasions. So back to the story. Growth is going okay. Okay, the followers are a bit slow, but I did manage to capture 1.14 million views on a Twitter account that has only been active for two months. By the way, guys, if you want to know how I managed to do that, then you can do so by commenting, I want to know or something like that, and then subscribing and turning the notifications on. That will give me an idea of whether it is a good idea to do a rundown of how I blew up the views on Twitter on my account. Like if you want to grow a Twitter account, there are hacks to get your post seen and all those hacks are in my head like guys I'll give you one of the hacks for free if you ever wrote a Twitter thread you know how long those take like when I first started it took me around two hours and then I got better and I improved and it took one hour and now when I write a Twitter thread it takes me around like 45 minutes to write a good Twitter thread so that's the freebie but if you're still watching at this point then stick around because the first hack is coming up soon so right now like many of you guys I am working a temporary nine to five and I call it a temporary nine to five because it's the thing that keeps the bill paid until I get this online store and YouTube off the ground that it replaces my income, replaces my temporary full-time job so that I can go do YouTube and this online store full-time. The problem is that, and you might have faced this, when you get off work, you're tired, you don't want to do anything, you know, writing threads is the last thing you want to do. And then what happened was a great idea came to mind. You know, there are some YouTube influencers that I follow and they're talking about ChatGPT all of a sudden and how they were integrating that into their business and that's when the light bulb hit i then thought about all right if they're using ChatGPT in their businesses, how can I integrate ChatGPT to help me with writing all these Twitter threads? And now that I've integrated it into my process, into my routine, now you find me making my own video on ChatGPT. So now whenever I watch anime, I would always look for parts of the episode that really impacts me to clip, and then I would rename it to the title. Like I was always crazy about her, about her in this movie that I watch called Ocean Waves. And pay attention because here is the sauce. So after that episode or several days later, what I will do is I will use that title to remind me of what specifically impacted me on that clip. And then I will use that title and throw it at ChatGPT and I will tell it to create for me a Twitter thread related to that title and related to what exactly that clip impacted me on. And that guys is the first hack. We created a thread from a clip using the title all in under five minutes. So I just showed you how to write a Twitter thread with ChatGPT, but what I like to do is that when I have a video with similar topics, so for example, number five and number six, 
they're both clips of the characters being selfish. So basically what I did is I told ChatGP to write me a Twitter thread about how Studio Ghibli's Ocean Waves characters were all selfish. And this is what ChatGPT would respond. So once we have the response of ChatGPT, it's as simple as just taking one of these threads, like number three, and copying them to Typefully, right? Just go to Typefully, which is a Twitter thread scheduler, which is what I use to automatically schedule my threads. And I would just go and create a new thread, right? So I have a thread here and I just paste in what ChatGPT gave me and there you go, you've just created a new thread. So I love using Typefully because well, number one, it helps me schedule threads and number two, helps me release them so I don't have to think about when to release them. And if you want to learn more about Typefully, then check it out with the link in my description below. But anyways, we just saw the response that ChatGPT gave us. What ChatGPT like to do is they like to respond to you in a postgraduate level. Now that's a problem because most people read at a third grade level. So what can we do here? Well, this is the second hack. So the second hack, what you always want to do is you want to ask it to give you that response but written in a third grade style and that my friends is what differentiates the noobs between the senior social media managers oh and one last thing seniors according to salary.com make an average of around seven one thousand four hundred and thirty three dollars and i know what you're thinking you're saying what donald is this clickbait because you're missing a whole 108 thousand well we're gonna get to that so i just showed you that if you tell chat gpt to write in a third grade level then it will right in a third grade level. But what would happen if you tell ChatGPT to give you the response in a blog post format with beginning, middle, and end and written in a way such that a third grader can understand it? What you'll find is that it does so perfectly. And this is hack number three. And guys, a blog writer is not the same as a social media manager. They're actually called digital content writers. And the salary for a digital content writer actually goes for about $108,000. Huh, who would have guessed? So I really hope that you guys got something out of this video. If you want to know how I grew my Twitter account to 1 million plus views, then comment, I wanna know, or something like that, and subscribe and turn on the notifications. But aside from that, to wrap up, I really think that AI and ChatGPT are really going to replace a lot of jobs. We saw in this video how that the jobs of a social media manager or a content writer, they're going to be replaced and you can do that. You can replace them and earn that 180K by just learning how to use and leverage ChatGPT for yourself. And that is what businesses are going to find very, very valuable. But you know what? Even with ChatGPT, that is still not going to protect you from your taxes. So one thing to do if you're going to end up being a freelancer that knows how to prompt ChatGPT is you got to learn how to optimize your taxes. Optimize and play the tax game right. And if you want to learn how to do that, I made a video right here that you can watch after this one to really learn about taxes and how you can play them to your own benefit.